Okay, welcome to exercise 3.3, configuring failover and preference setting. This is located in lab 3, which is managing failover clustering. In configuring advanced Windows Server 2012, services are 2. In preparation for exam 412, this is all part of the Microsoft Official Academic Course. So in this exercise, you're going to configure how the failover cluster will respond to failover and how it recovers from failover. It should take approximately 10 minutes. So we're going to start with server 1. Again, I do have all my servers up and going. My server 1, server 2, storage 1 is up, and so is my RWDC. Okay, so we're on server 1. We're in the failover cluster manager. We're going to select on roles and right click, left click, right click file server, and then go into properties. On the general tab, we want to make server one the preferred owner. And then we're going to click on the failover tab. And this brings us to question two and three. Question two is what's the maximum failures in a specified period and what is the period? Question three is the cluster allowed to fail back to a preferred owner when the preferred owner is restored. All right, we're going to go ahead and click on OK. We're going to right click file server again, go back into properties, and now we're going to uncheck server one. And then click on OK. And this is the end of this exercise and this video.